Matt Driscoll, Lieutenant Commander, United States Navy. Major Kelly McCoy, U.S. Army. Okay, and where are you based? Patuxent River Naval Air Station in Patuxent River, Maryland. And Fort Eustis, Virginia. Well, we're here at the uh, Milliken Global Conference, and you're here representing what kind of an organization? Well, we, we represent an organization called the Military Leadership Circle. And that is an organization sponsored by the Milken Institute, which is founded for the professional development of military officers from our various service branches, uh, as well as to inform Milken programming with military and veterans' perspectives and topics. Okay. And uh, what are your roles with this initiative? Uh, well, I founded the organization about four years ago. And so, uh, and then I guess we have members like Kelly that have applied uh, each year uh, to be a member of the organization. Uh, yeah, does that help? <laughs> what, what's the, uh, the goal, the objective of the initiative? Uh, it really, first and foremost, is focused on the leadership development of our different military officers by putting them in non-traditional forums uh, such as this global conference. Uh, military members can be often isolated in the places that they live from large population centers and, the, and larger corporate culture. Uh, and this is an opportunity to get them into places where they can interact with leaders from fields very different and outside of their traditional military rank, rank and structure, uh, as well as to provide feedback on military and veterans' perspectives, uh, and also uh, learn, be in receive mode, uh, first and foremost, so that they can hopefully take back some lessons learned, best practices, new approaches, innovative ideas to adopt in their day jobs and in, in the organizations they lead in the United States military. If I can ask, uh, what sort of reception, what kind of reaction, reception uh, have you received from these business leaders from around the world? Well, I don't know how Kelly answer that. The people usually treat the Navy pretty well. I don't know how they treat the <laughs> Army. So, I, it, it, It's very similar across uh, a pretty much obviously all services with the uh, a, and and how it generally has been in America that people are, are very friendly they uh, thank you for your service and uh, they're very interested whether it's finding more about you know the medals that, that are on your chest and what that means or you know what what your mission is and and uh, and how, how you serve your country and why uh -huh. and, uh how has it manifested so far? Has it turned into uh, practical results thus far, or how new is it? Uh, you mean the initiative and, and the organization? Yeah, uh, yeah I mean, we're four years old, and I would say every year we've sort of built on our past uh, successes. And so, meaning that we have more people usually apply every year, the quality of our applicants has improved, uh, the events that where we uh, Put on different, we put on different events for education and inspiration and to connect different groups uh, over different initiatives uh, involving veterans issues and so forth. Uh, those have just multiplied every single year. Um, but again, I think you should also ask Kelly because he's now seen it two years in a row. So, I mean, Kelly, what kind of steps forward do you think we've taken from last year to this year? Well, I, this year the, the programming has been uh, pretty significant in terms of what we've been doing and then engaging with the private sector. Uh, uh, the year prior uh, was definitely a development year uh, where we, um, we we're really kind of just taking it all in uh, but then this year, I uh, really felt that we were a part of that conversation. We are a part of that dialogue. And it, it, you could really tell the difference in terms of uh, the people that you talked to and what they were taking away from it. It wasn't just, oh, it's nice to be here, nice, you know, nice to see people in uniform. Uh, I really, truly felt that people saw a value in, in hiring veterans and that, um, you know, it's not military leadership circle alone, but kind of the collective effort uh, to help transitioning veterans uh, get the, the needed leg up that, that they 
deserve with the job training and everything that they've gotten from service uh, and, uh, and to have the companies who are out there hiring recognize that. And that's been one of the primary things I've seen this, this time uh, that have some positive steps, positive comments have, have really unfolded. Yeah, I would say one more metric that I've seen change kind of complementing what Kelly said is uh, there are veterans organizations and foundations, there are companies that want to partner with us uh, for the purpose of having an event to educate uh, groups sort of in their network to enable and empower their work. So you can see a demand to, to work with us. You can see a demand from people to come and be a part of those events uh, and therefore be a part of the conversation and the dialogue that we're trying to promote. And if you think about it, I think that's significant. We're at a, a, a finance, business, economic focused conference and we've carved out a pretty significant niche for military and veterans issues uh, that relate to, to the corporate world and relate that are economic issues, if you will, human capital issues as, like, as Mike Milken likes to talk about. So uh, I think that's definitely a metric of success that, that you can see uh, has improved over the last couple of years in our participation here at the Global Conference. Uh, I would just like to say, I guess, if there's somebody that hasn't been a part of this global conference and they don't, aren't familiar with the military and the challenges of going from military service into the civilian sector and the private sector, uh, to be patient, to listen, have a dialogue, get to know veterans, get to know people that serve in the United States military, and figure out how we can help those veterans transition from a meaningful service on behalf of the nation to meaningful work in a company and therefore a meaningful life outside of, of United States military service. Because I think that's what every veteran desires, is to go from meaningful work wearing the uniform to hopefully meaningful work outside of, of uh, military service that, that really builds our nation into a, a stronger one in our communities as well. Uh, I, I'd just like to add that um, this isn't just the U.S. military. Uh, we, we do have a member that's, that's from the, the British military. Mm -hmm. And so it, it, it is an open international program, uh, and, and we encourage international participation in the application process. So if, if there's people out there watching this and, and, and are interested in, in growing themselves and, and helping bring that conversation uh, back home to where they're from, uh, we, we'd love to have yeah, them on board. MilitaryLeadershipCircle.com is our, our website and they can find out about for example the the London Com Milken conference which is in December where there are applicants uh, and opportunities for applicants from other foreign militaries to be a part of that dialogue uh, as well in terms of bridging the civ mill divide thank you, very much. Thank thank you. you.